Earlier this year, Detroit-based American Axle and Manufacturing purchased the Cameron County Manufacturing Plant GKN. That's right, and now just months after the sale, the global company announced it will be closing shop in Emporium within the next 12 to 18 months, putting hundreds of jobs at risk. Let's go out live now to our Yanni Tregellis in Cambrian, Cameron County, where he spoke with county officials about the upcoming closure. Yanni, was there any sort of indication that this was coming? And then also, what does this mean for employees of American Axle? Matt and Maggie, this announcement it really comes as a complete shock to everybody here in Cameron County. And now as the clock starts ticking before the closure of the plant, it's really not just those 300 plus jobs that are at risk. Honestly, I don't know. Honestly, we'll be scrambling. We will be scrambling. This is going to be bad for our community. This is going to be a trickle down. The plant, built in the 1970s, has always been a constant for manufacturing jobs, employing more than 300 people. There's a lot of lifers yes. in that plant. There's yes. a lot of people that's been their whole career, right out of high school yeah. and, and have stayed there the whole time. So it, that's a blow to the system. The closure puts a large percentage of rural Cameron County's population out of work, but it also affects surrounding businesses in the area. We have a lot of businesses here in the county that finish the products that come out of American Axle and Manufacturing, formerly GKN. And so it's not just that plant, it's also what effect it's going to have on those secondary shops and also their workers at those shops. County commissioners say that some employees told them they are being offered positions in surrounding plants, including Ridgeway and St. Mary's. We have reached out to representatives from AAM for comment, but have not heard back yet. The majority of them, they're skilled, They'll find something, they'll be okay. But there are a, a majority that are going to struggle. Officials now begin a search for a new business to move into the space. Joining in the efforts, the governor's action team and senators from across our region, and among them, 25th District Senator Chris Dush, who says he is trying to find a company that would be able to move into the space and save these jobs. I'm reaching out to some of the businesses that I know that have been looking at the possibility of expanding and hopefully be able to uh, have those guys turn their eyes towards Emporium and hopefully uh, getting that plant to continue operation with these good paying jobs. So the building itself, it's going to remain here as American Axle. They only purchased the machinery and equipment uh, when they made that deal. So they are looking for a business to come in and take the place. And Senator Dush added as well that he has reached out to AAM for comment, and they have not gotten back to him either. In Emporium, Yanni Tregellis, WTAJ News. Yanni, thank you.